So morning everyone, it is uh, Sunday the 5th of December. Obviously um, myself and Holly are going out to Hong Kong again to compete in the IJC. Uh, I'm going to be staying through till Sunday to uh, be riding Dubai Honor uh, in one of the international races, the Hong Kong Cup. Um, I'm going to be taking you along once again um, for another series of Through the Lens. Um, obviously similar circumstances to last year with quarantines, um, but I'll be taking you through the routine. I'm just jumping on the bike for a quick spin before we go and get picked up and um, head to the flight and have a, have a long haul flight over there. So that was just a quick half an hour workout. Um, so working up in intervals, you can actually see the workout structure there. I tend to use Zwift. Um, all of that actually goes on Strava if you want to see the kind of stuff that um, I do in the training that I do. Um, but in theory it's heart rate as high as you can, drop it back down, back up, back down um, and uh, yeah just a quick stretch of the legs before uh, jumping on the plane for I think what's going to be 13 hours. So after arriving at the airport at 11 o'clock hoping to fly at 12, um, the plane didn't pass its inspection and uh, due to technical and mechanical failures uh, we weren't able to fly on it. Uh, because of that our COVID test then became um, uh, sort of void as such because they were over 48 hours before we were boarding flight so uh, we've just gone, had some uh, more PCR tests done, uh, myself and Holly are going back to Newmarket tonight um, to wait till tomorrow morning, we're now going to be flying at 12 o'clock tomorrow um, so a bit, of a bit of a frustrating day obviously but um, hopefully tomorrow goes a bit smoother and we'll get to Hong Kong um, plenty of time and on a safe plane <laughs> all being well um, but yeah a bit of a bit of a pain and a bit of a um, sticky start to the journey um, we're back up uh, obviously uh, we're meant to fly at 12 o'clock today now um, we're staying in Newmarket in the flat that we've got up there so uh, I'm gonna head to the gym um, go and stretch my legs again uh, to just get myself warmed up um, and uh, just so I don't get off the flight too stiff and sore tomorrow my weight's in check as well. Uh, so yeah, hopefully all goes to plan today. Um, the plane won't have any problems and we'll get to Hong Kong safe and sound. Our rides have come out this morning and um, uh, it looks like I've got one to look forward to, really look forward to, and um, uh, amongst the five that I've got, so fingers crossed for that. Um, not had a chance to have a proper look at Holly's yet, but uh, hopefully she'll have the same and we can walk away with a winner or two apiece. This morning exercise done, um, it's literally a mile and a quarter up to the Peter Sullivan House, um, one of the Injured Jockey funded uh, gyms that we're so lucky to have, three of them in the country, obviously Oaksy House, Jack Berry House up north and Peter Sullivan House in Newmarket. Um, just whacked out 20 minutes of quick circuits uh, and bowled along the last mile and a quarter back home again, uh, but back now it's um, sort of quarter to ten, uh, we won't be long till we have to leave, we're leaving at half ten and uh, go and jump on the flight. So as we're both struggling to sleep, um, we're about seven hours in, we've reverted to doing some wedding planning. So these are the areas that we were uh, sat in for about eight hours last year, hopefully be a bit quicker this year, we've had our test done um, and apparently it should only be up to two hours so fingers crossed it will be out of here soon and uh, straight to the hotel to freshen up after the flight. So we've got home for the next week and uh, we've got a really nice view looking out onto the uh, sea so uh, from the treadmill as well, a bit of inspiration. Um, obviously with the plane being delayed, we've actually only got uh, 24 hours before the uh, IJC, uh, so not too much time to waste. But um, yeah, really looking forward to getting aboard the uh, couple of horses and um, hopefully trying to pinch a winner or two. So it's just gone six, uh, we've had a good time to rest. Um, we're gonna have a bit of a stretch with making up some uh, gym equipment as we go. Uh, 
you got the treadmill in the other room and a skipping rope that I bought, so uh, yeah, quick circuit, stretch ourselves, open the lungs up, and then um, hopefully sleep well tonight with the jet lag. So that's a uh, 35 minute workout circuit's done. <laughs> She's really happy about it. <laughs> so it's Wednesday morning, um, obviously day of the IJC, really looking forward to this evening. Uh, we've been up early uh, and gone to Sha Tin to do our test first thing. Had a little bit of breakfast and a coffee. Um, Holly's just doing her form, uh, sat in the sun, uh, which uh, obviously pretty nice view to have, uh, but just makes you want to go outside. But um, yeah, really looking forward to this evening, obviously. Um, got a good ride for David Hayes in the first, um, which looks probably the best of mine. Um, and Holly's got sort of a, um, a sort of spread of horses with half chance, which is the way they've um, structured the IJC now. So fingers crossed one of us can have a bit of luck, if not both of us, and um, yeah, we can walk away with something to show for it. But uh, yeah, been, been sort of nice having a good rest last night and um, getting up early and, and sort of getting ourselves going for today. So I just finished off a 45 minute workout just to get sweating and jump in the bath, lose the rest of the weight for this evening. Um, I've not got any really light weights today but um, obviously flying and sitting in a hotel for a room, um, you know, even though you're exercising you just tend to put on a tiny bit so uh, just a bit of fluid weight to get off and um, good to go for this evening. So I've done uh, 20 minutes, uh, nearly hit the right weight, uh, Holly's just having a warm up for this evening as well, she's just going on the treadmill and doing a real quick circuit, just get the blood pumping. Um, Another 15 minutes should do it, I'll be the right way and um, yeah we'll have a bit of time to sort of sit down, cool back down, have a cold shower and get, get set with the form for tonight properly and um, talk to all the trainers necessary, obviously there's plenty of social distancing measures in place so uh, going to have those chats before we go um, to minimise any risk of um, anyone getting infected with Covid, obviously primary sort of worry at the moment. Um, but yeah, plenty of time, we're leaving at quarter past four, obviously the racing sort of uh, starts pretty late and um, yeah, really looking forward to it now. So we're all set for this evening, um, changed and dressed, ready to go, it's quarter past four, uh, spoken to most of our trainers uh, so that we don't have to get in contact with too many people later on and um, yeah, fingers crossed for the evening ahead, we should be walking the track I think, we did last year so hopefully get the chance to do that again, just see where we're going to plot our paths and um, get ourselves uh, sort of warmed up again for this evening. So really successful evening with both of us nicking a winner. Obviously great to break my IJC duck um, and fantastic for Holly to get another one on the board. But uh, yeah, fantastic that it was for David Hayes as well. Um, so now uh, fingers crossed for Sunday and uh, all systems go for the uh, international races now. So it's Thursday morning, I'm just going to jump on Dubai Hana, give him a bit of a stretch uh, on the grass uh, in the pre-run up to Sunday. Um, so this will be my first time sat on him. So looking forward to seeing how he's taking the journey and uh, hopefully all will be well and uh, the rest of the preparation can go smooth for him.
So it's Friday morning, uh, half seven nearly. Um, got to go for a test shortly at Shartin. Uh, Holly left last night and she should be nearly home by now. So um, yeah, a couple of uh, days by myself now and um, so I'm going to go in, obviously have the test, go and see Dubai on quickly, see how he is. I uh, got the chance to sit on him yesterday so um, yeah, hopefully he's taken that sort of a bit of a pipe opener well and um, he'll be uh, looking ready and spick and span for Sunday. So those that are inevitably going to ask about the hat, it's only to keep my AirPods in uh, when I get sweaty. Uh, they're not very good, so any suggestions of uh, any sports headphones would be greatly appreciated, because these are terrible. Um, just did a, a 10 minute warm up, a 20 minute circuit, and just sort of real quick high intensity, uh, and then uh, another sort of 35 minutes on the treadmill. Uh, to bang it out so um, obviously cranking back up again for Sunday now I've got pretty light I've got to do 121 pounds which is 8 9 uh, so I have to get to 120 which is obviously 8 stone 8 which is uh, pretty light for me um, but obviously it's a big day so it should hopefully be worth it um, so yeah fingers crossed uh, all the preparation is worth worthwhile uh, so we got a chance to walk the track this morning, um, just to have a wander around, it was nice, nice to have a leg stretch actually. Um, obviously last day in quarantine, so we'll be uh, giving the, the, it a good kick later on to get some of the weight off, um, break the back of it as you say I suppose. Um, but yeah, last full day in quarantine and then racing tomorrow and heading heading home tomorrow night. So um, yeah, it's all, uh, it's all coming to a close pretty soon. So it's about half seven. Um, I've had a good sweat today to, as I said earlier on, sort of get the most of it off. We're leaving pretty early in the morning, obviously. Got to do our uh, testing on the way to the races, get that done, and then riding. I've got light in uh, race two and nine. Uh, in between, that's Dubai Honor, so a pretty hectic day uh, with a ride in race 10 as well. So uh, really looking forward to it, but obviously you've got to be sensible about how I go about it all um, weight-wise and just get myself organized for the day. So uh, I'm going to get a pretty early night. Um, get up at probably about half six, uh, do the rest of my sweating before we leave at about nine. Um, and that should hopefully set me up for the day uh, pretty well, all being well. So um, yeah, uh, try and get as much sleep as I can and then uh, be well rested for tomorrow. So it's last morning. Um, obviously, as I say, got to get that last little bit of weight off. I'm gonna jump on the treadmill, do a few sprints. And um, I'm actually cooking up the shower. I managed to seal it and try and turn it into a bit of a steam room so I'm not sweating in the bath again. Uh, get a bit bored of that in the end but um yeah not not long to go and we're leaving at nine so sort of hour and three quarters to do it so plenty of time so all set to head racing uh hit the right weight um so yeah fingers crossed for the day ahead hopefully i'll have a bit of luck and uh four eyes to strike with and obviously dubai on a beer the main one so i just got back to the rear from the races uh obviously not the result we wanted but um you know he ran a ran a super race in defeat and um you know uh, remains an extremely exciting horse for the future so um, plenty of bright sides to take from it uh, of my other rides a uh, couple ran well and finished place so um, that was good so um, yeah successful trip all round I'll be glad to see the back of this hotel room um, and get home and, and back in action on uh, Tuesday at Newcastle uh, so a nice long drive to get home to but um, yeah obviously it's been a fantastic week um, you know having a win around Happy Valley and uh, again, can't thank Hong Kong Jockey Club for um, going to the lengths that they have to, to get us all out here and um, yeah, look forward to hopefully trying to come out again next year and uh, ride a couple more winners.